At Wallscope and Oxford Semantic Technologies, we have recently created a user-friendly linked data application using Wallscope's platform and expertise and RDFOX, our knowledge graph and semantic reasoning engine. This video is going to provide a demonstration of our application, which uses data on the Olympics. The project aims to solve many of the issues around data management and integration that organisations face. For example, large amounts of data may be stored in various locations and in various formats such as documents, financial transactions, social media mentions, staff payroll updates and website traffic data, the list goes on. Handling all of this data in real time and assimilating it with existing information is a challenge for businesses of every size. For this demonstration we have used three different data sources, an Olympics dataset in RDF triples, a tabular dataset and unstructured data in the form of 30,000 Reddit posts. Incorporating unstructured data into modern day applications is a challenge for many businesses. We believe that efficiently accessing and presenting this unified data in real time could help businesses across a wide range of industries. If you'd like to read about the creation of the platform and the data sources in more detail, you can do this by heading to the Oxford Semantic Technologies website, where you can find the white paper on the resources page. Alternatively, you can read the blog entry by going to Medium and searching for Angus Adelsey. Now, over to Angus, who will run you through the demonstration. Hello everyone, this is the Olympics Linked Data Platform. If you go to wallscope.rdfox.tech, you'll be brought to the platform and you are automatically taken to a random athlete. So this time, I've been brought to Alison Felix. There are three types of view, the athlete view, sport view, and continent view. And I'll go through each of these in this demo. Um, so commonly across all the different views, we have these tooltips on every chart. They provide information on what you're looking at, as well as how this has been achieved behind the scenes. For example, if you look at the average medals by age chart here in the middle, you might wonder why the average number of medals decreases as age increases. You can find the information to explain this trend within the tooltip. In the top right of the page, you will see About. If you click on this, uh, it will bring you up a page which explains the overall project. We have brought together disparate data sources, linked the data sources, and carried out semantic reasoning over them. The project demonstrates the integrated power of Wellscope's platform with RDFOX, which is the product of uh, Oxford Semantic Technologies. For more information about how this was developed, you can click on Medium here for the blog article. Each athlete view has a fixed layout. On the left, we have the info box, which provides information on each athlete from our data sources. We have created a news column, which is populated with information from Reddit. To do this, we downloaded and refined dumps of Reddit posts during the periods of the Olympic Games. So here you can see some Reddit posts related to Alison Felix. This is an important piece of the demo, as the information from Reddit was unstructured data, and this has been combined effectively within the platform. You can also see there are other athletes that have been mentioned in the Reddit posts. Their names are here underneath. And these are navigation hooks which allow you to pop through to another athlete in, in the same demo. So further down, we have a statistical comparison chart. Here, the green line shows Alison Felix's stats, her age, height, weight, and number of medals. The darker line shows the average Olympian. Uh, if we use the filters here on the right, we can select the category of Olympian we were uh, we want to compare with Alison Felix. For example, male basketball players from oceanic countries. You can filter this however you like to explore the data. The filtering is done on the fly, queries are sent to RDFOX and returned. Um, so the information has not been stored anywhere and this was done on purpose to demonstrate the speed of RDFOX. Now moving on to the sports view. We can either type a sport directly into the search bar or use this navigation hook here to view athletics. It has a slightly different layout and provides different information to the athlete view. Again, we have a sport info box on the left, then top female and male athletes, and news. We can see here that Alison Felix is actually a, a top female athlete, and this is calculated by our weighted medal count. For more information, you can use the tooltip in the same way uh, as on the athlete view. Below this, we have more charts which are populated with information for the average age, weight, height of athletics athletes over time. We also have this chart for medals per continent. You can move this along to see the medals change depending on the year. 
Now finally, the continent view. We can type Africa in at the top here, and similarly to our other views, we have a continent info box, medals per continent, news, and a statistics comparison chart. The huge spike seen in the number of athletes and medals chart reflects the different Olympics, summer and winter, with less African athletes competing in the Winter Olympics. The red line is the number of athletes, and the darker line is the number of medals. For example, in 2016, there were 1,000 athletes from countries in Africa, and in the Winter Olympics in 2014, there were only five athletes representing African countries. While playing with the platform during the development phase, I noticed something uh, of interest. If we go back to the sport view, uh, athletics, and look at the medals per continent chart, move this to 1972, uh, Africa has a normal looking number of medals uh, on track with previous years. However, in 1976, this dips drastically low before rising back up. Also in 1980, there's a huge dip in North America medals, which then later spikes back up again. So I thought this was strange and, and looked into it. If we head back to the African continent view and look at the chart for the number of medals and athletes over time, you can see this dip in 1976 reflected here in the data. It is perhaps more noticeable here than the last chart. I did some research and it turns out that in 1976, African countries boycotted the Olympics. This was because South Africa refused to condemn apartheid and New Zealand's rugby team's tour to South Africa caused an outcry. Um, the link to this story can be found within the Medium article. Similarly, if we go to North America, the dip in the 1980s in medals is also reflected by the number of athletes. I also researched this and found that the US boycotted the 1980 Olympic Games, which were held in Moscow. This was a protest against the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan, and uh, this affected the statistics quite drastically. So we thought these two sti uh, stories were really interesting, uh, as I didn't know about them before. Uh, I carried out this work, I played around in the demo, and yeah, it shows the value of linked data applications for finding patterns and relationships within data. Another interesting finding, one time when I loaded the linked data platform, I was randomly assigned Johnny Quinn, and I noticed some interesting Reddit posts. Johnny Quinn breaks down the door. It turns out that Johnny Quinn got stuck twice at the Sochi Olympics, one time in his bathroom, where he used his bobsling skills to bash through the door, and a second time he got stuck in the lifts. So he had a fairly interesting time at the Olympics, and uh, Reddit went mad for these stories. So feel free to head to wallscope.rdfox.tech and roam around the platform for yourself, I learned quite a lot from the platform about the Olympics, and I'm sure you'll find uh, some interesting trends. So the team have developed a fantastic tool, and uh, now it's time to go back to Felicity. We really hope you enjoyed this demonstration. If you'd like to get in touch, you can do so using the various channels listed here. Thank you for watching.